Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Tuesday the 9th of November. The local media headlines today. Sleaze and corruption in Parliament week two. Any of Cornwall's MPs who thought that this story was just a flash in the pan might want to think again. And yes, Camborne and Red Ruth MP George Eustace, the evidence suggests that this is not just a storm in a teacup. The opinion polls now seem clear that the Conservatives are taking a pretty serious hit on the whole business. Whether the voters care more about sleaze than they do about sewage might be a moot point. The Environment Bill and the water company's profits and the way that MPs vote on this issue are all again under scrutiny. On the Covid front there's good news and bad news. The good news is that Cornwall is now free of the most dangerous clusters of the disease. The bad news is that NHS wards are full to bursting, with 53 Covid patients now occupying beds at the Royal Cornwall Hospital. And if you'd like to take over the running of your local leisure centre, you've got another eight days to tell Cornwall Council about your big idea. Now, do you think the COP26 climate summit is going to save the world, or is it just blah, blah, blah? Cornwall Council talked climate action yesterday. The BBC was among the media to cover the weekend's demonstrations in Cornwall. Pirate FM covered an attempted robbery in St Austell. The Falmouth Packet reported plans to fell some mature beech trees. And finally, Cornwall Live ponders the future prospects for tourism businesses. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye. Thank you.